So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Cal Poly data and we're going to create a scatter chart for this data. So I'm going to start off by duplicating uh, and then renaming so that I have my source data still available to me. So I'm going to rename this is uh, lesson 11 and this is scatter plot. So when I look at this, uh, I need to do some kind of sorting here because I want to make sure that uh, I know which label I'm going to attach to things. So I'm going to do uh, my data, sort range, advanced, and I want to sort by result. And then what I'd like to do is to sort by highest combined GPA and hit sort. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to uh, do it wrong the first way, and then I'll show you why. And then we have to adjust a little bit for Google Sheets. So what I could start off with is I could just grab this data here. And what I'm going to do is then do insert and insert a chart. And I want the type to be a scatter plot. So there we go. It's looking pretty good. If I go ahead and just close this and then move it so I can see it a little bit better. If I hover over these labels so I can see a 3.211, a uh, 3.211 should be 1420 and that shows up right here. So that's that data point. But I want to get the other data points on there as well. So I'm going to edit chart and I'm going to add a series and I click on this little button and then I go down. I'm going to look for here is my denied data. Now it's not going to let me select two columns. It will let me select one column and I hit OK. And when I look at it, it looks fine, like the points showed up. Uh, but one thing that we start to look at is we want to check this data. And when I look at it here, you can see everything is lined up vertically, right? And if I hover over this line, the 10, 10, Right, so 3.073, 1040. Well, if I just search for 3.073 with a, con with a control F, I can see that it's here 900 for accepted, but there for denied, there is no 3.073, 1040, right? It was looking for is it took this as this value here as the first GPA for this one up here, which is not correct. So what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of manipulation first before we can do this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to insert a filter. Uh, and I'll explain why this oh, sorry data. Uh, create a filter because what I want to look at, it's sort of the way I want, but I don't want all of these blank spaces in here. So I'm going to, for the combined SAT, I'm going to go down. I don't want any blanks uh, and I don't want those dashes. So now when I look, oops, when I look through it and I scroll, it's just numeric values. And this I'm going to change a little bit. I'm going to say this is my uh, accepted. And I'm going to go down to where it goes to denied. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to paste it over here in this column. This is my denied data. And then I'm going to keep going down. This is my unknown data. I'm going to go in a separate column. So it's going to go next to here. I'm going to call this unknown. And then my last one is my withdrawn. I'm going to put it in the column over here, and this is withdrawn. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I have one column that has all of my actual GPAs, and then I've put in separate columns the different data points. I now can grab those uh, five columns and hit insert chart. And then I want to make a scatter plot. There's my scatter graph. And I'm going to customize it for a second. So I'm going to go down to my vertical axis. And I want my minimum value to be 900. I don't think anybody scored below 900 on the SAT on this one. All right. Now what I'm going to do is move it to the side so we can take a look at it. And I want to check some data points. An easy one to check is it's just one withdrawn. So 3.909, 1550. 
that's all the way at the bottom and then that worked out correctly. This one over here, uh, let's look at my accepted 3.073900. That's that point up there. If I look at my denied 3.75, let's go for a lower one. Uh, 2.931040 is 2.93 on there. 1040, 2.93, So this is now actually working correctly. Uh, I have my GPA uh, versus SAT, and I have my four different data points that I can see my scatter plots attached to. Uh, we'll come back to this down the road to talk about regression lines, but you have to be a little bit careful in Google Sheets. It's not the same as it would be necessarily in Excel when you are trying to uh, create multiple series for a scatter chart.